uh, good afternoon, my people. Good afternoon, uh, fans in the Kebu Kebu. Good afternoon, our followers all over the world. Good afternoon, Abyanks. Uh, good afternoon, Ndemwe, Nandemwe, Nandemwe. Good afternoon, Ndikumwe, Nandemwe. Good afternoon, Ndemwe, Nandemwe, 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 and so many bad roads in our bar in Yimbak City. Uh, where we are today is 28th, Monday, the 20th of November 2023. Uh, Eban Ubana, we Orata Road. Orata Road, uh, join the Portacot Road. This road, uh, I don't need to tell you or ask you how the road looks like. You can be able to help me see the condition of the roads and the, also your suggestion on what you want government to do concerning the nature of this road. That is why I want to show you guys around. Uh, it's gonna be a long tour, a long journey. They're gonna show you around how the road looks like. Just stay tuned. Uh, when you also look around, uh, apart from the, the, the nature of the road, you can see heaps of refuse. Now this is uh, here, a bit of pit. Yes, this is uh, a orata. Okay, glue. Glue the reggae. So this is six six a board of it on both sides. Yeah, on both sides. But uh, I'm coming here and I find uh, I found out that uh, in heaps of refuse along uh, this uh, accent. Uh, but we're gonna be taking a long journey. Yeah, give you a long journey. You know, veiling the nature of the roads and also what you guys uh, expect uh, the government of the day to do about this Orata. Orata joint uh, is a road, is, is, it links to Portacot Road, the famous Portacot Road, which uh, Gilos Vega is handling currently. But uh, there's no people, uh, there's nobody on, 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 on this uh, on site today, being that today is six at home. So stay tuned for more. So what you are seeing here is what a, a commuter, motorist packs through on daily basis, going to market, going to church, coming back, going to mission, going to any work. This is what they pack through on this very Orata road on daily basis. Uh, uh, you know, according to Oliver Twix, we always ask for more. So I uh, believe this place uh, really, really needs the attention of the government because uh, people living around this vicinity are also uh, eligible voters. Are also, uh, they also deserve the bags. They also deserve the uh, good roads. They also deserve every uh, the social amenities that uh, other people get from the state government, college, federal or state. Uh, they also deserve it. This uh, road is really, really on Shambo. This uh, Orata road needs a, a state of emergency, needs a serious work on this very, very place. So I, 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 I see the, the reasons. That is why I'm being here. Uh, that is why I'm here. Not because that this place is uh, my area. No, it's not my area. But because government is have to do this route. And that is why I'm here. To show you guys how Orata Road looks like. Wherever you're watching us, just always pray for the governor and also wish him well so that every nook and cranny of the Abba city will be touched and also will be remembered so that people will be happy. Uh, stay tuned on this tour. Uh, so, uh, a place uh, called Orata Iga Hall, huh? Yes, Hall and Car Chimobi, Honorable Chimobi, BCK, Renovator. This place is called Orata by Renway. According to somebody, Naba Okada, Osana, Osa Ubuana, Nevi Ubuana, Amalaya Off Road, who's super, nothing moves here, nothing drive along this road. But can I confirm? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's open. Go near, go wash. Just let's take a look. 
from the look of things, from the conduction of the road, uh, from the level of spirogyra and the level of decay from this road, uh, you don't need to argue that the residents and the people living around this vicinity have really, really suffered. They have suffered so much, but uh, it can't end here. Let's, uh, let's be moving to see how the road looks like. Let's m make some more move. Uh, this is a, indeed a, a very long uh, water log. Uh, can't believe what my eyes are seeing. Everything you are seeing here is water. Water. Full water. Full water in the middle of the road, which means this place has been impactable over the years. Uh, let's go more. And when you when you watch uh, look closer, when you look straight, you will see a Catholic church. It's a very popular Catholic church. At least uh, when I get close, you can be able to confirm uh, what I'm saying. That the people, the residents, property owners, and people residing along this Orata Road have seen hell, have seen pure hell. But uh, it is a tour. We'll be moving gradually, gradually until we unravel all the things that need to be unraveled on this road. Yeah, we have, uh, this is the same order that I'm talking about. We have so many not uh, notable uh, politicians and men uh, this place with their community. Uh, the likes of the former chairman of our backsat, Honorable Clinton Eberi, and uh, my good friend, uh, cash money, engineer cash money. Uh, this uh, his community, and uh, for a very long time, he has been uh, complaining bitterly that his community road is is is, is in a, a shamble. It's in a very very dilapidated nature. To the extent that people now hire them boots for them to assess their houses. Even if I'm the road, because they don't come out all if we move. So. There's a Catholic church uh, uh, in front here yeah, uh, called St. Francis Catholic Church. So, can you which? St. Oh, God bless you. Okay, St. Margaret. So, okay, can you get to go some more? Uh, uh, the the tour uh, along the tall, uh, long road that are the more interesting that the more you trek, the more bad the road looks. Uh, the Catholic Church, which I told you guys about, uh, which is a, a Margaret Catholic Church. But uh, from the look of things, the road itself, nothing, even big glories, cannot ply along this road. Again, somebody told me, though it's still on confirmed report, that this other road is just a battery three kilometer from Portacot Road to Express. If actually not three kilometers, which means the road is not all that long, that, uh, that the government can, that is too difficult for governments to fix in a situation whereby they have already gotten uh, two sideways uh, drainage. It's not too big that the government cannot be able to fix, uh, unlike other roads in Aba that I have seen them uh, worked on. Uh, this journey, uh, I believe everybody, woman to know, can be able to share the post so that they can get to the authorities. Because uh, me, trekking along this place, is kind of uh, uh, stressful and is very, very boring and uh, all the very bad. When you nobody, can be able if actually that's with what I'm seeing in my with my eyes. Now say no because of the few days uh, sun in Wela. Meaning that the road is indeed in a very bad shape. You can see it yourself. Uh, on our way coming back, you gave me a little but at least I got to tell them. I'm more how long here 69, so many as it's it. I'm on the address. But at least I'm going to let them to me. I don't know if you push it back away express. So from on our way going back, I'm let me see if I can be able to get back to the the uh, runway exit where I parked. Uh, the road is the bad. So 
I believe the tour, I'm going to give you some equity to the tour now for you to have a little clue or uh, a glimpse of uh, how Orata Road looks like, especially today, the Monday, the 20th of November 2023. So you can see all the corners, you can see the condition of the road, you can also see uh, the manner in which uh, uh, grasses uh, and other, other green vegetables are growing in the middle of the road. You can also see the level of sparrow jara along the road, which means the road, wow, the road has been buried. So, yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. You can see you can see the, the people's shops. Excuse. You can see people's shops uh, growing uh, wheat, growing grasses. All these shops are still under lock and key. How can you be able to access your shop? How can you be able to do business when there is no access road uh, for uh, for customers to patronize you? Oh, it's not easy. So stick around. Let's make more move. Uh, uh, this is also uh, shops. Uh, you can see this person uh, uh, written written on the shop uh, uh, store to let. Let me show you. This is shops to let. How that's to tell you the level of decay and the experience of, from landlords and the property owners. How can somebody come in this uh, area, in this axis, to rent a shop? We are from week to week. Day to day, month to month, you can't be able to make any sales because of the nature and the condition of the road. This uh, this is a St. Margaret Catholic Church. It's a very popular church along Orata Road. Yeah, it's a very popular church along Orata Road. So uh, let's be pushing back to see if we can be able to get back to Orata by railway. Uh, this is the same Orata I'm telling you guys about. So I need to take more shots. Uh, these are the river, uh, the river Niger or river Benue or river Lucifer uh, along the roads. Nah, nah, ta, ta. Uh, uh, yeah, this we are up to, we are back to Orata Road by railway. You can see the construction of a new railway system that is still ongoing. Uh, this is uh, another topic we need to handle, but at least for now, we, we are done uh, to see the level of, the dilapidated uh, level or condition of uh, this Orata Road. Uh, so far, so good. Uh, let God be the judge, and also let posterity be fair to any government, especially this new government, that we remember this place because these, these people, they deserve to be remembered. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you guys for the support. Uh, like this post, share, and also always follow Cable Cable TV for more news.